questions and answers from the works of Sri Aurobindo and the Mother. Flowers, part 15, from the Mother. Thou hast shown to my mute and expectant soul all the splendor of fairy landscapes, trees at festival, and lonely paths that seem to scale the sky. But of my destiny thou didst not speak to me. Must it be so veiled from me? Once more, everywhere I see cherry trees. Thou hast put a magical power in these flowers. They seem to speak of thy soul presence. They bring with them the smile of the divine. My body is at rest, and my soul blossoms in light. What kind of a charm hast thou put into these trees in flower? O oh, Japan, it is thy festive adorning, expression of thy goodwill. It is thy purest offering, the pledge of thy fidelity. It is thy way of saying that thou dost mirror the sky. And now here is a magnificent country of high mountains, all covered with pines and richly tilled valleys. And the little pink roses this Chinese brings, are they a promise of the near future? Mother gives transformation flowers and slips one through her buttonhole. A general transformation. I have my own here. So it wilts. And when I have my bath, I take it out and put it in a glass of water. Half an hour later, it's as fresh as if it had just been born. It's very pretty. It's my joy in life. Every morning, I must say, I spend three quarters of an hour arranging flowers like that, and it's all joyful, light, light in everything without darkness. Two days ago, I went to Wise Place to pick some flowers in the morning. When I saw her, I felt a trembling, and immediately afterwards, some uneasiness. I think it is the vital that caught the uneasiness, but I don't understand why I felt this uneasiness when I saw her. Some people carry around them these ideas of despair and depression and are harassed by them. These ideas are contagious, like an illness, and one catches them just as one catches any other illness. The night of the fifth, a violent cyclone struck Pondicherry. At Nandanam, in the middle of the devastated garden, a white hibiscus bloomed. Satprem places the flower on mother's lap. A grace flower bloomed in the thick of the cyclone, mother. Silence. One can hear the axes hacking away at the broken branches of the great yellow flame tree called Service, which spreads its foliage above Sri Aurobindo's tomb. The tree that gave me all my transformation flowers from Satprem's garden is broken. The service tree also. Some of its branches have been torn off. Usually it didn't come this way. The consciousness must have sunk a lot, quite a lot. 